Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Again, this is a problem based on product mix. What exactly we are supposed to do here? We are given two different products A and B. We need to make an assumption. And then there are resources like leather, wood and glue. We need to read the problem carefully. More or less all the problems are similar with minor adjustments here and there. Otherwise you won't find any of the problems based on formulation difficult in this subject. Let's read the problem and proceed. Product A offers a profit of 25 per unit. So A pay profit hota hai 25 rupiah per unit or B ka profit hai 40 rupiah per unit. Or to manufacture these products we require leather, wood and glue. We need three things. Leather, wood and glue. And then we require in what quantity? They are already given in the table format. For product A we require 0.5 kg of leather 4 square meter of wood and 0.2 liters of glue that is fevicol. For product B we require 0.25 uh, kg of leather 7 meters square meters of wood and 0.2 liters of glue. What are my available resources? I have got 2200 kg of leather. 28,000 square meters of wood and 1400 liters of glue. State the objective function and constraints in mathematical format that is we are need to formulate this into a linear programming problem. Let's first make the table again. We need to put the resources and the supply and the profit in the table. So I'll make the table again. So I'll put down the products. I won't shuffle the whole table as given in the problem. We'll put the products in the rows in this problem. Uh, it won't make any difference if you put the rows into uh, products into the rows. Anyways, you will make the assumption for the product itself. The only thing is that you need to look carefully while formulating the constraints. So right now I'll just put product A and B as it is. So here is my product A. Here is my product B. And my resources are leather, wood and glue. So here is my leather, wood and glue. And we need 0 0.5 and 0 0.25. 0 0.5 kg and 0 0.25. In case of wood it is 4 and 7. So 4 and 7. In case of glue it is 0 0.2, 0 0.2, so 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 and then we are given the resources available, 2200 kg of leather, so here is my supply or here is my availability, 2200 kg of leather, 28000 square meters of wood and 1400 liters of glue and then we are given the profit per unit which I can note down profit per unit so my profit per unit for A it is 25 and for B it is 40 so A may rupees 25 B may rupees 40 and we need to formulate this we need to give them the objective function and the constraints first I'll note down the assumptions we'll make an assumption that we are making x1 units of product A and x2 units that is the quantity of product B so let's put down the assumption first let x1 units of product A and x2 units of product B are manufactured. This is my basic assumption. Uh, now the next part will be 
ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन वॉट शल बी माई ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन माई प्रॉफिट पर यूनिट फॉर ए इज ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू नंबर ऑफ यूनिट एक्स वन माई प्रॉफिट पर यूनिट फॉर बी इज फोर्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई नंबर ऑफ यूनिट एक्स टू आई नीड टू मैक्सिमाइज द प्रॉफिट सो ट्वेंटी फाइव एक्स वन प्लस फोर्टी एक्स टू विल बी माई टोटल प्रॉफिट सो मैक्सिमाइज प्रॉफिट कॉमा जेड इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एक्स वन प्लस फोर्टी एक्स टू subject to what are my constraints now my constraints are my first constant is 0.5 x1 plus 0.25 x2 that is the total leather consumed it can't be more than 20 200 kg that is the maximum supply available so it will be 0.5 x1 plus 0.25 x2 less than equal to 2200 0.5 x1 plus 0.25 x2 Less than equals to twenty two hundred. This is the leather constant. For second resource wood, it will be four x one plus seven x two less than equals to twenty eight thousand. Four x one plus seven x two less than equals to twenty eight thousand. And in case of third, it will be zero point two x one plus zero point two x two less than equals to fourteen hundred. So zero point two x one plus zero point two x two less than equals to fourteen hundred. And last we have the non-negativity constraints. That is x one more than equal to zero and x two more than equal to zero. So here was my problem. We didn't have any demand constant here. We had just the resources constant, one for leather, wood, and glue. So we have the constant for leather, constant for wood, and constant for glue. So we note down, we noted down the non-empty constants as x one more than equal to zero, x two more than equal to zero, and we are done with the problem. Thanks, thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe to our channel, Ekita.